afternoon, everyone. My name is Paul, and I am a nerd, and you are lucky enough to be here for the, I'm not going to say April like I did an hour ago, the March 2017 World Docs Virtual User Group meeting. It feels kind of like April. It sure did on Friday. Of course, I could be talking to somebody that's in the Bahamas. I could be talking to somebody that's in Florida. I could be talking to somebody that's in California. But we're in Michigan, and it feels like April. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about, uh, I'm going to be talking about some things I can do with my keyboard, because I am a keyboard guy, how to move around the tabs at the top or bottom of your screen with your keypad without, or keyboard without having to grab that horrible mouse thing that just disrupts your workflow. And Mary Jo is going to talk about some cool things that you can see um, in your uh, different views uh, of, of uh, that you may be hiding now. Some things that you can show that you may not know are there or some things that you may know are there that you were wishing to get rid of and how you can hide them. Without any further ado, I am going to press all the right buttons. Oops. And a couple of the wrong ones. And I'm going to get us into World Docs looking at, oh, I don't know. Let's... Let's it's a list. It's a list. Let's go into Purdue Law Offices. So I'm going to go into Direct Access, and we're going to go here, and we're going to get into Client Files, and we're going to go to that mysterious, magical, make-believe world of Purdue Law Offices where everything is happy all day long. Okay, Mary Jo, take it away. Okay. So where we're going to start is just under this display tab up here, and there's several different features up here that you can turn on and off to show or hide. And sometimes you can do it in other places, but most of them are right under this little display button. So we're going to go to display and the show hide options. And so the first thing that we can do is we can actually hide our pinned bookmarks. Now in our case, our pinned bookmarks are out here on this little yellow bar. We've color coded it to be yellow so they stand out. But if for some reason I wanted to hide those, all I have to do is click on display, show or hide, and then click on those pin bookmarks and they disappear. So now I've got a little more real estate up here. It's not so cluttered. So whenever I want to bring them back, I can just display, show hide, and show them again by clicking on pinned bookmarks. So that was the first one. The next one under show hide is the pinned send to's. So if you don't know, if you right click on a document, there's a little send to um, this one, here it is up here. And there's all these different options of where I can send documents to, from my desktop to a folder to a CD, all these different things. Well, underneath my display, I can show hide, and if I click on the pin send to's, it puts them all up here on my screen. So I don't even have to right click and find them. They're all up here, and I can click to send them to wherever I would like. So if you want to just bring those to the forefront and show all your options, you just make sure the check mark is in front of there. And there you go. And so now if I go to show hide, the next thing is the navigation panel. So the navigation panel lives over here on the left. Right now it's hidden. So if I click on my show hide and click the navigation panel, it's going to pop out here to the right. So that's available here. That is also able to be hidden with an icon as well. Um, and some of these other things can also be created as an icon, but if you're out of room up here and you don't have any more places to put all these icons to do things, they're all underneath this little display. So I'm going to hide that again, move it out of the way. Same thing with my Show Hide Preview panel. I can click on that and it will pop it out. Again, over here we could just view it by clicking on View or Hide, but there's also ways to show or display them underneath the Show Hide up here. Next is the comments in the list and the versions in the list. I don't know that I, this is test data, we're in this particular client, um, uh, our make-believe client, so I don't know that we have any comments in our list um, that would show up. They're both on right now, but you also can hide those. So if you want to display the comments right in the list here, I could have that be on, and if any of these documents had comments, I would see them in the list. Also, if any of the documents had versions, I would also see those in the list as well. So these are two things that you can turn on and off just by, again, checking it or unchecking it to see that information in the list. So that is all of the options underneath the show hide right under the display bar at the top. 
and some interesting things that you can find and see right up at the top. Like I, I thought the pen, pin to the send to's was pretty cool to just display that really quick instead of to right click and go down and do all the drop downs. You can just see them all real fast and then do what you need to do and oh, turn it off again. Let's be honest with them, Mary Jo. We were we were playing with this this morning and we're like, wow, we didn't even know that was in there. <laughs> and that's really cool. It some is of the cool, cool things that we find while we're while we're preparing or mm -hmm. while we're we're looking through these things and that that going high up on our list of cool things we found. Yeah, so just a little things. little nuggets in there that you can find and, and use if you prefer. Paul? Now, Mary Jo was talking about the display and the show hide, and she was saying, now, you can also do this other ways. Like, you can, you can show your navigation pane right here with this thing, and you also have, and you can hide it that way, and you also have the, the, the same button there. But I'm going to talk about keyboard shortcuts, and I'm going to actually cut into a little bit of what Mary Jo was saying to say, for instance, showing and hiding that navigation panel is Control-T. And I am a keyboard guy. So if I'm here and I'm working along and I'm going like that and I'm going, oh, I need to see the navigation panel, I can just hit Control-T and I can hit it again and it'll go away. Another thing that I think is very cool about that, show hide, as far as the keyboard goes, is the preview panel, Control-F9. Okay, now <laughs> I am on a keyboard that is attached to an iPad, and I don't have an F9 key. But if I'm moving through here and I say, oh, I want to see that, I want to see that email, if I have to grab my mouse and drag it over here and click that and then go back over here, I've, to me that's wasted time. So if, yeah, Mary Jo, if you can hit Control F9, that pops it open, and then hit Control F9 again, and uh, it should go away. Or maybe not. Um, so the point is, those keyboard shortcuts can really be helpful in 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 getting those things popped out. Even if you're like, well, I mean, what about the fact that you can do it this way, or what about the fact that you can do it that way? Well, that's a mouse movement. That's that's a little for somebody that's moving very quickly through a list and they want to open the preview pane and then close the preview pane. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to talk about some other keyboard sh shortcuts. If we go into display, we also see this work list tabs and bottom tabs. Now, bottom tabs is is these things that you appear that appear down here: filters, profile, project, and relations. I've got uh, one of them turned off. I've got uh, uh, which one? Oh, full list. No, I don't have them turned off. So full list just means show the full list instead of instead of showing something like filters. So there's full list right there. And so what this is telling me, oops, is that I can control one, control two, control three, four, and five. So if I'm in full list and I want to see filters and I just do control two, bam. I want to go back to full list, control one. I want to go to profile. I want to go to project. I want to go to relations. I want to go back to project. I want to go back to full list. Now tell me that's not easier than coming down here and then going back up here and then coming back down here and doing that and then going back up there. To me, it's much easier to go filters, full list, filters, full list. And, of course, you can't see me, but I am uh, right now uh, hitting Control-2 and Control-1. Okay. Now, the other thing is how to move around these tabs. Now, I'm going to show you something that maybe you don't know, but it's not the subject that we're really covering. You can open up multiple tabs. I currently have Purdue Law Offices open, and we always have email and search open. But if you click on search, I really wish they called this new tab, because now I can go in and open up, let's say, my favorite chosen favorites. These are the things that I've put that little heart on. Or I'm going to go into another tab, and I'm going to open up my favorite emails. And did you know you can do just your favorite emails? You don't even have to check this and say show filtered. You just click this, just these. So now I'm going to go into New Tab and say I also want my favorite uh, Outlook or PowerPoint. Let's do that. And finally, I'm going to say in a new tab that I want my favorite uh, Word documents. Let's do that. So now if you go to Display and go to Work List Tabs, you'll see that you can use Control-Shift and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 10. So this is one. It's email. If I do Control Shift one, I'm on my email tab. Control Shift two is Purdue Law. Control Shift three is my favorites that are chosen or what we call added. 
Control Shift 4 is my email. Control Shift 5 is PowerPoint. Control Shift 6 is Word. And Control Shift 7 is this new tab where I can then go to favorite files and open something else like all my favorites. How do I get back to Word? Control Shift 6. How do I get back to all? Control Shift 7. How do I get back to Purdue Law? It's two from the left. Control Shift 2. I don't know about you guys. I'm old. I'm 55 years old. Um, so I know there's a lot of people out there that are, oh, I don't know, in their 20s or 30s, and they're like, what the hell? Who would ever do that? I would, because I come from a time when there were no mice or mouses or however you say that. And, and so I'm very acclimated to moving around screens with keyboard uh, uh, presses as opposed to mouse clicks. And I think that's a very efficient way to move around. So as we go from screen to screen, you can see I'm doing it there. A couple other things you can do under the work list tabs. You can close the current tab with a control W. So control W would control close this one, but leave the rest of them open. I want to close Word, control W. I want to close all favorites, control W. Uh, another thing I can do. Open left of current, open right of current. In other words, control page up and control page down will take me, and I don't have a page up on my iPad keypad, so Mary Jo is going to help me. Control page up and control page down takes me to the left and to the right. Control page up takes me to the left one. Control page down takes me to the right one. And finally... Close all tabs but the one you're on is Control Shift F12. So if I'm in Purdue Law and I'm like, okay, I want everything else closed, I just want Purdue Law open, Control Shift F12 and everything else closes down. Here it goes. Bam. It leaves search and it leaves email. Those two tabs are always open. Search you can think of as new tab. Email is always there because it drives the email integration that, that World Docs is kind of famous for. And that's that. And with that, I will tell you that next month we're going to talk about the copy, move, attach limits that some of you may come across and how to solve them, or at least what your capabilities are, or our capabilities, or your administrator's capabilities are as far as solving them. You've seen it. You've gone to move 10 items into an email that says, sorry, can't do that. Too many. You've exceeded your limits. Well, there are ways to get around that. We'll talk about that. Mary Jo will take that topic. And I'm going to talk about that document stamp that can appear in the lower left-hand corner of your document, kind of shaded, maybe small, and, and the different information that you can show there and how, how you can control that. So that's that. Of course, we want to let you know that if you go to attorney, oops, attorneycomputersystems.com, with a little bit of emphasis on that last S in the word systems, attorney computer systems dot com that you can always hover on this video link or click on it and get a list of all the different video topics that we offer uh, there are four live events you're familiar with the at least one of the virtual user group meetings because you're in it right now we also have one on practice master and one on tabs and of course the one you're in now which is world docs we also have another live event called the coffee pot webinar where i take a and ciliatory product, uh, something extra that's an add-on to Practice Master or Tabs or World Docs. And, uh, actually invite the, somebody from the company that makes that product to join me and show how it works, and I talk about how it integrates. And we also have our uh, two uh, pre-recorded video series, Mary Jo's eBite video series, where she records one each month for Practice Master, one for Tabs, one for World Docs. Uh, and these are short one, two, three-minute videos with really cool, neat, small things that we find that we want to let people know about. And our longer format, Paul and Mary Jo Show, where we take things that are a little more complex and take maybe eight, nine or ten minutes, sometimes 15 or 20 minutes, and either I or Mary Jo will go into much uh, deep dive sort of thing into, into a certain topic. So those are available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. You can search for content or you can just browse. If you go to one of the live events like World Docs, it will show you a little bit about what it's all about. It'll talk about what the next uh, webinar is and when it is. It'll give you links to register. Two of them, they're the same thing, but they're in two separate places. 
And then as you scroll down, you'll see actual recordings of the ones that have, are, are from the past. This one is the one you're watching right now, so it's currently in post-production. Not even there yet, but we won't go there. And as we scroll down even further, we'll see that there's recorded versions of every other World Docs virtual user group meeting that we've ever done. So all those titles are there for you to browse and search and play with and enjoy to your heart's content. So everybody have a good rest of the month, and uh, we will see you in April. Thanks much. Bye-bye.